Hi, I'm Wayne McDonald. Thank you so much for purchasing this book, Seven Keys to Living an Abundant Life. I am just absolutely thrilled that you've come this far. In chapter number five, you read about managing your money. Oh, glory. It doesn't matter how much money you and I ever make. If we don't learn to manage it, we'll lose it. You have to be intentional. You have to have a budget. You have to be intentional about where your money goes. And that's what a budget is, basically. A budget is basically you pointing the finger and saying, money, you are going to go here. You're going to go there. And if you don't do that, the end of the month you'll go, where did it all go? When you discover God's purpose for your life, it will generate finances. It's just the way it works. He planted a garden for Adam and he put him in the garden and the garden produced. When you find the purpose of God, when you discover his purpose and you connect with it, it generates finances. That's just the way it is. You live in the blessing. You stop going to work with the mentality, I owe, I owe, I'm so in debt. I owe, I owe, so it's off to work I go. No, you go because this is your passion. This is what you've been wired for. It's an extension of your gifts and your talents and your ability. You're anointed to do this. So you learn the purpose of money. What is the purpose of money? In chapter number five, you read about it. The greatest purpose for your money, every time you get paid, number one, is to invest it. Now, I tithe, I give 10% of my income, and I've done that for as long as I can remember, since 1992. And that is part of me investing in the kingdom of God, investing in the fact that I want to see lives touched and changed by the power of God. And I've always thought like that. I take the first part of my money and I invest it. But beyond tithing, take a portion of your money and invest it in something, and it's different for every one of us. Some of you invest in stocks and bonds. Some of you have your own businesses. You invest in the business. That's a good investment. God will show you what things to invest in to multiply your money. So every time I get paid, the first thing that comes to mind when someone gives me money or I go out and I do a job, um, I complete that task and someone gives me money, a check or cash, the first thing that comes to mind is, okay, what can I do to invest this? Okay? Number two, the second purpose of money is to have fun with, to enjoy it. Jesus said, I've come that you might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. And number three is to give it away. There's no greater joy than taking what you have and give it away. And people that um, are very wealthy, a lot of times, sometimes they don't realize this till the end of their life. It's unfortunate, but a lot of them don't realize that to the latter part of their life, that there's so much joy in giving. After your needs are met, after you have health insurance and you have life insurance and your house is taken care of and you, you own the cars and you don't have debt and just things are in order. After that, okay, now where do we go? Where do we go? If it's just all about us, we'll be miserable. But if we step into a realm of living our lives to bless others, oh, that's where abundant life is. That's where the joy is, taking what you have and ministering love and concern to other people that are in need. And that's the greatest purpose of your money. Number one, to invest it. So that way you can create more. I, I deal with this with my daughter, even at her age. She's almost 10 years of age and I'm teaching her now principles. When someone gives her money, my grandmother will give her money all the time. I said, okay, you take that $10. Daddy will show you how to take that 10 and make it become 50. And then make the 50, 150, 150, 350. You get the idea. I've tapped into this in my own life. Every year I take a, a $350 investment and I multiply that. And it becomes at least 75 to 80 some thousand dollars every single year without fail. And it's done that for a long, long time. And that's just one area. I have 10 streams or rivers of income. 
and I'm sure that'll increase as time goes by because my mind is set. Every time I get paid, I think about what can I do to invest this? Where can I invest this? And then number two, I take time, I take some of it, and we enjoy it. We have fun with it. We enjoy the journey. And number three, we give it away. What a joy. What a joy. Learn to be intentional with your funds. Learn to have a budget. Learn to create a future for you so that when you ever do go to retire, you'll be able to retire with dignity, with honor. And you'll be able to leave an inheritance to your children's children. That's what it's all about. This is life in abundance to the full till it overflows. Having your needs met and not just your own needs met, but having an overflow where you can help others and meet their needs as well. That is abundant life. And that's the heart of chapter number five, managing your money. Well, in number six, we're going to talk about multiplication. That includes money, but also includes how to multiply your gifts and your talents, your abilities. And all of these keys are connected together. Every single one is connected. Thank you so much once again for purchasing this book. I know it's going to change your life and the life of your kids' kids. It's going to affect generations. Jesus said, I have come that you might have and enjoy life and that you might have it in abundance to the full until it overflows. Thank you so much. Enjoy the journey. Have a great day.